This might be the story for my adventures with Superman season two. Long ago, the planet Krypton was in great danger. Jor-El had an idea to send all the inhabitants of Krypton to the Phantom Zone. This would keep everyone safe and give Jor-El and the Council time to find a new planet. The Council was outraged by this idea because the Phantom Zone housed the most vicious criminals. Jor-El saw it as the only option. The Council would not be convinced, so Jor-El went searching for help. He reported his plan to the planetary wall supercomputer on Krypton. Brainiac. Brainiac agreed with jor worries of Krypton exploding. However, the Council would only listen to Brainiac's explanation. The Council relied heavily on blind dependence on their omniscient central computer. jor always believed this Brainiac would doom Krypton. But now he was out of options. He needed Brainiac to show the Council the stakes of Krypton's impending Doom. Brainiac would eventually convince the Council to test out the Phantom Zone theory. A theory which maybe the Council could still separate civilians from criminals in the Phantom Zone. Months before Krypton's supposed destruction, Brainiac and the Council would open the Phantom Zone. Chirrell and the Council believed that no criminal in the Phantom Zone would escape because Brainiac convinced them that, oh, it's all good, I got everything under to control, but Brainiac, well, he lied. See, Brainiac's main goal is to travel the universe and pursue knowledge on every planet. He didn't want to stay on Krypton. He also believed that every planet he passed by would need to be destroyed. If Brainiac is the only one that has a planet's knowledge, then that knowledge becomes very valuable. Brainiac's views definitely aligned with a conqueror, and in the past, Krypton had a criminal that had a similar mindset. This criminal's name was General Drew Zod. General Zod was banished to the Phantom Zone long ago because of his rebellion against the Council. He believed that Kryptonians should be conquerors, basically Viltrumites from Invincible. Now, you could guess already, but the Council, they were not really fond of this whole conqueror idea. They disagreed with General Zod's mindset. jor then led the council to victory in a battle against General Zod's rebellion. But before Zod was sent to the Phantom Zone, he talked with the alien intellect. You guessed it, Brainiac. General Zod sowed the seed of alliance with the AI supercomputer early on. So years later, when the council opens the Phantom Zone, General Zod escapes and joins forces with Brainiac. Brainiac forces the council to kneel before Zod. Only jor manages to escape. Now, over the course of the next month, Brainiac takes over Krypton's robotic army and starts spreading his power outside of Krypton. Brainiac sends separate armies across the galaxy. An armada of Kryptonian AI robots controlled by Brainiac spread across space. This armada is led by none other than General Zod. Portals are open to reach worlds across the universe. One portal opens on Earth on Zero Day. General Zod begins his attack on Earth and the General, Sam Lane, assisted by Amanda Waller, tries to survive. General Zod is about to kill them both until boom, a huge blast shuts down the portals that were allowing Brainiac's armada to invade. This blast was caused by jor -El. See, jor didn't want Brainiac to take over all of the Kryptonian Empire. He also didn't want Brainiac and Zod to invade other worlds any longer. So jor accelerated the destruction of his own home. jor caused the destruction of Krypton. Krypton's destruction halted Brainiac and General Zod plans, Krypton's destruction also stopped the events of Zero Day. Now, fast forward 22 years later, and we have a second invasion. This second invasion happens in the latest episode of My Adventures with Superman, episode 10 of season 1, the season 1 finale titled Hearts of the Fathers. And in this episode, Kryptonite opens a portal for General Zod and Brainiac to arrive in. A new hero, a new champion of Earth 
fights back. Superman. Yeah, Superman, assisted by his father, jor destroys the ship entering Earth. The Man of Steel stops the second invasion of Brainiac. Now, Brainiac, he notices the portal close on Earth. Brainiac is obviously surprised by this, and his reaction is this. Unexpected. Yep, unexpected indeed. Now from here, Brainiac, he reports to General Zod. He reports that a planet called Earth is rebelling and they need to be dealt with. Now General Zod, he turns around and we get the final words of the season one finale. Let them rebel. It does not matter. In the end, they will kneel. Bro, in the end, they will kneel. Like, who else says kneel? If I hear a character say kneel, I automatically think General Zod. And that's what I thought here. Now, I've been thinking General Zod was involved with Zero Day from like, the not the beginning of the season, but at least like halfway through. Like halfway through, I started to give theories like Brother Eye and the Omax and then Brainiac and then Maxwell Lord and now General Zod. All I can say is I'm excited to see what comes next. And guys, all the background that I gave you at the beginning of this video, I think that will be shown in flashbacks in season two. We will also see Superman face off against General Zod. Zod will try to conquer Earth, but the Man of Steel will push back with all of his might. Superman will lose and he'll be forced to enlist the help of evil Superman to stop the evil general. It will be Conqueror versus Conqueror. The evil Superman from the multiverse will cause more problems for our Superman, but they will also stop the general, True Zod. Bro, doesn't that sound hype? Evil Superman versus General Zod? Man, I want to see that. Brainiac, on the other hand, will escape and come back for more conflict in progress. Probably season three. I also think that we will see a crossover episode with the world's finest Batman and Superman. I think that episode will be saying Gotham and Vicky Vell will return. I think Livewire and Parasite will return to wreak more havoc on Metropolis. Ivo might begin his creation of Amazo and maybe eventually we'll see an all-powerful Amazo defeat Brainiac in season three. Think about it. An android seeking purpose Amazo versus an alien intellect seeking ultimate knowledge Brainiac if that doesn't sound epic I don't know what does come on Brainiac versus Amazo bro make it happen like that would raise the stakes man I'm already getting hyped not only for season two but potentially season three and uh, onward I also think Green Arrow will show up at some point or at least Oliver Queen we might also see Maxwell Lord make his debut in season two, setting up a brother eye slash Omax story for season four, possibly. There's a lot of potential for this show, and the creators of My Adventures with Superman said recently in an interview, we have so many plans, we've got lots, we've got seasons upon seasons figured out. I can definitely see the potential, and I can see May seasons being awesome and quality. My question to you guys though, is this show better than Superman the animated series? The Superman animated series from the DCAU? In my opinion, right now, I'm gonna say no. But if this show keeps up the same quality for like three or four seasons, then this show can definitely rival the original Superman the animated series. But guys, Comment down below, which show do you like more right now? My Adventures with Superman or Superman the Animated Series? But yeah guys, overall I enjoyed the season one finale of this show. It was so epic, the animation was cinematic. I like how they ended things off with Superman and his father jor -El. also the General and his daughter Lois. Just the parallel, Hearts of the Fathers, the General and jor -El. Very interesting and how things ended off with Brainiac and potential General Zod, who's just credited as the Kryptonian warrior right now. That's very vague, but come on, he said Neil. That's definitely General Zod. But yeah, those are my theories. Tell me your theories down below. Also, tell me your rating for the season one finale. I gave it a 10 out of 10 in my full episode reaction, which
which by the way, if you haven't watched my full episode reaction to the season one finale, check it out now. It's on my website, link in the description or the pinned comment. Go watch it. I give more of my thoughts in the finale and you get to see my reaction. I got really hyped, guys. I'll just say that. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I appreciate all you guys for watching my, my adventures with Superman videos every week. We're now going to be switching it up, bringing back the Batman 2004. So stay tuned. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.